Hey YouTube, make a quick video of how to rebuild this pump. Uh, what it's happening, the carbon bushing behind it, it's already bad, so it's leaking product through. And here we have the new rebuild kit. Here's that carbon bushing that went bad, and we're gonna have to replace. So to get everything off of here, I can use everything, everything. We have to remove this impeller, and the way you remove it is you put in this little locking pin right in the center, and this comes right up. You remove the little locking pin, there it is, and then you remove these 14 millimeter bolts, remove this, hmm, I don't know what size it is, but it's an Allen wrench. And this is uh, 13 millimeters and then we have a couple of allen wrenches right there right there and there's two down here on the shaft but we got to remove this cage first so let me go ahead and remove that cage remove these bolts down here and that should come off loose all right after we remove the four screws remove the cage this should just come right up. Oh, these bolts are holding it back. The little legs it has for the stand. The little legs are holding it back. There it is. Alright, now so you could see our carbon bushing is bad compared to this one this whole o-ring is missing on it there it is so now we're gonna go ahead and loosen up these two allen wrenches all right once you loosen this up everything should just come right off well, it should this. There's your drive shaft. Here's our carbon bushing. It's bad already, like you could tell. Sucker is gone. So that is. There's a little seal. That is the root of our problem. Get the seal out. And since the whole kit did come with a replacement spring and everything, let me show you what the kit came with. Alright, so this is everything that kit came with. And I want to give a shout out, a thanks to Martin Rebuilt from Texas. Thank you. Uh, Associate Roy and I believe is Steve Martin. Uh, I think Steve is the one that hooked us up with this deal. Um, but the company name is Martin Rebuilt. They're located in Texas. Um, they do. All right, I'm sorry about that. My camera was full, so it stopped recording. But like I was saying, they supplied me with this kit. Uh, what they do is they rebuild uh, pumps, motors. I have a bunch of motors that are burned out in gearboxes that they could rebuilt for me. Uh, they also rebuilt touch pack machines. There's one right there. Um, so yeah, so they do all kinds of cool work. And like I said, they sent us this kit and they sent it to us over for free. How amazing is that? So we're gonna go ahead and install all of this. I went ahead and removed the uh, drive shaft out of there. Here's the drive shaft. Um, here's all the old parts. And here are the new parts. Here's the new carbon bushing. Here's the old carbon bushing. So now what we're gonna do is build it back the way it goes. First you wanna do is put in the keyway back in place. It's a little tight. We're gonna have to Uh, 
it's a little tight. Send it down a little bit right there. All right, so we're gonna get our scotch bright and just clean it up. It's probably just dirty in there. Let's clean this whole shaft up. Clean it from the debris. There, it's nice and clean. And let's put the key in. Still a little snug, but it fits a lot better now. There it is. All right, now that we got the keyway in there, we're gonna put in the drive shaft, and you wanna line this up with the key, just like so, and it should slide right in there. Should slide, slide, slide you. <laughs> <laughs> These are probably still out a little bit. Uh, so, now what we want to do is assemble all this back together. The way we're going to put it back together is we're going to... There's this little spout. So you want all the water to spout out, down. So you want to put this one down, like so. And then what we're going to do is put in this little seal can't do it with one hand all right there's the replacement and here is the old one so what we're simply gonna do is go ahead and grab the new one and place it on board uh, so the way this goes is you have that rubber seal that goes inside this carbon bushing you have this plate that goes right on top of the carbon bushing Then you have the spring, and then you have that part. I don't know what that really is called, but yes, that's how that goes. <laughs> there it goes. I was trying to put it in backwards, that's why I didn't want to fit. But there it is, and we're going to place it right in here. There I have it in place. It's ready to be bolted down. But before we bolt anything down, we want to make sure we give this the proper space it needs so the way we're gonna do it is we're gonna give it that much of a gap that much of a gap we're gonna press this down until we meet our quota looks pretty good right there it ain't rubbing down here it's perfect it's perfect so that's where you want to set it now we're gonna go ahead and bolt down these allen wrenches and then bolt down these last ones All right. so the way you want to bolt this upper piece is there's a little notch right here and it slides right into that so what you want to do is you want to slide that into there like so and then bolt it down uh, but I do not have three hands so I'm gonna put the camera down and bolt it down <laughs> all right so there it is this bushing here is in place this is ready to go this upper piece is in place nice good tension it spins good it spins freely it does not rub anywhere all right so now all we got to simply do is bolt the whole frame down and put its little locking cage back in place and we should be ready to go and give this a try all right so there it is everything's back together we just need to put one last piece back to the puzzle and this goes right here in the impeller so what we're going to do is slide the impeller off slide in the little locking key my glove gets out the way put it in place and there it is that's all it is so let's go ahead and take it inside and give it a try all right so there the pump is connected go ahead and uh, turn on tank one tank one is open there's no water sipping through it fantastic let's 
go ahead and turn on the pump. Pump is activated now. And it should be pumping out water. There's no water coming out from there. There's no water leaking. And it's pumping out the water. Fantastic. So that's how you rebuild a floor pump. Right, Martin? That's how we do it. That's how you get it done. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that bell. All right, let's get out of here before we get kicked out.